the phones get bigger, I stay the same size. <laughs> you ever seen Days of Confused? I love that movie. Matthew McConaughey, he's standing outside the rec center. He's kind of, uh, you know, old man in a young man's body. Uh, kind of uh, lecherous character, and he says that about, you know, I get older, they stay the same age. And for some reason, that, that's the first thing that came to mind when I opened up the box today from Sprint. It's the epic 4G Touch Sprint's take on the Galaxy S2. It's got a 4.5 inch display. And I just keep thinking, man, these phones get bigger, I stay the same size. I'm getting older too. All right, so here's the Epic 4G Touch. It's gonna to be the first Galaxy S2 phone to hit the US from Sprint and Samsung. This one will be officially available September 16th for $199.99 on contract from Sprint. Although uh, some other places, Wirefly and Walmart, already offering it at a discount. Walmart are reportedly $99.99 for new customers and uh, $154.99 with a two-year uh, extension of, uh, if you're a current customer. That's what I've heard. I haven't gone to Walmart and tried to buy one. But anyway, it's the first Galaxy S2 variant to ship on a U.S. carrier. And uh, they certainly went epic with this one, a 4.52 inch Super AMOLED display, 480 by 800. Um, it is a thin, thin phone. It's got the 8 megapixel camera, full 1080p video recording. And the whole deal, uh, Sprint was kind enough to send, and the whole deal, you know, all that other stuff. We'll get to that in a minute. Sprint was kind enough to send us a review loaner ahead of launch. Here it is, firing it up for the first time. As it boots up, we'll show you what else. We'll put this up here so you can see the boot sequence if you're into that kind of stuff. It's a 4G phone, obviously. We'll see what else is in the box. Here's all your manuals. And your micro USB to USB cable. And your charger. And that's basically it. You get the phone, you get the charger, you're good to go. It's got the, uh, the Super AMOLED Plus display. I don't think I said Plus before, but Super AMOLED Plus uh, Android 2.3 Gingerbread. Um, you've also got a 1.2 gigahertz Samsung dual core processor backed by a full gig of RAM. Mention the 8, 8 megapixel rear camera, LED flash, 1080p full HD video recording, and a 2 megapixel front facing camera for video chats, self portraits, all that good stuff. Uh, you've got the WiMAX, you've got an 1800 milliamp hour battery, you've got Bluetooth, of course, uh, mobile hotspot, Wi Fi, BGN, the whole thing. A little tour around the phone, just incredibly thin and light. Um, didn't mean to launch that, but uh, I did. It's kind of like Samsung's take, does it actually? It does. It's like Samsung's take on uh, HTC Sense with the pinch to, pinch to, uh, that is, I'll tell you what. All right, anyway, on the left side of the phone, left spine, you've got your rocker switch. On the bottom of the phone, your micro USB port and your uh, microphone for speaking into. That's what microphones are for, speaking into. On the right side of the phone, your power lock switch. On the top, you've got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, a little Qualcomm sticker, and then that spot where you stick your thumbnail in to pry the back cover off. Or if you're me, you to struggle with it and not get the cover off and rip your thumbnail apart. On the back, again, the 8 megapixel camera, flash, uh, 1080p video capture, etc., cetera, etc., cetera the requisite branding. You've got kind of this, um, oh, it feels good when you rub your fingers over it. It's kind of a pebbled surface there on the back, kind of that faux carbon fiber pebbled thing. A little bit of a, a little bit of lip there, a little bit of a chin on the bottom. Uh, and then four capacitive touch buttons on the front. Standard Android buttons, menu, home, back, search. And then your uh, big bad 4.52 inch display. Haptic feedback going. I have not actually used the uh, the TouchWiz in its full incarnation here, so interesting to see what Sprint has done with it. Get your AP Mobile. Now, if we add widgets here, we just click and hold and add some widgets. What do we get? So there's the agenda, AP Mobile, bookmark, buddies now, month, another agenda, classic clock, simple clock, all those clocks. I like the implementation here 
of um, having the uh, the ability to add widgets be a little bit a little bit less confusing to the layperson, and then also kind of easy to drag you know move around, decide which screen you want to have your widget on. So if I wanted to put my email widget here, there you go. And if I wanted to go back here and put on my uh, buddies now and today, cool. All right. AP Mobile. I just want to see what AP Mobile does. Go into apps here and see what it's loaded with. You've got the Samsung stuff, all share, the Google stuff, uh, you know, Gallery, Gmail, Google Search, all that stuff, Keys Air, Samsung app. Uh, then you've got some of the Sprint stuff, uh, Nova 2 HD pre-installed, the Sprint NASCAR app, Sprint Hotspot, Sprint Music Plus, Sprint ID Pack, all that kind of stuff. So kind of combination of the Samsung and Sprint um, apps or bloatware or, you know, whatever you want to call it. Video Maker app. Let's shoot a video. Very lightweight phone. Very, very lightweight. Feels a little bit plasticky. The, uh, you know, it's a while ago now, but the Galaxy 2S that I saw when it was launched in Barcelona felt a little more solid than this. This one feels a little bit plasticky, but that's not, you know, necessarily a good or bad thing. Uh, it's just a matter of personal preference. Uh, let's choose the um, home video preview theme here. And can I shoot some video? No, not photo. Video. Uh, normal. Self-recording. There we go. Hi, I'm Noah from Techno Buffalo. That's my light. That's my video camera. That's my face. Those are my eyebrows. They're not as big as Peter Gallagher's, but they are rather prominent. That's all for now. See ya. All right. Save. And let's shoot another one. Normal. It's good. Here's the box that comes with the Samsung Sprint Epic 4G Touch Galaxy S2. That's a mouthful. What you don't get in the phone in the box is an actual. Uh, I don't know what I was going to say. Anyway, here's the box. There's my Connect sensor. There's my TV set. There's the box. All right. We'll save that. And uh, done. Now, how do we edit? How does this work? Oh, I can put in a. Tr a uh, put in a little uh, transition. And what's that? The magic wand, grayscale. Can I emboss? Let's emboss. Ooh! Okay. And then uh, split. Oh, I didn't mean to split. Oops, I wanted to trim. So at the end, I got a little carried away. Whoa, crazy. Alright, so you can edit your videos right on the phone. Um, there you go. Samsung Mail, their own app. So there you go. It's, you know, swipe pre-installed. Um, let's go back, actually. And before I say there you go, let's go back to the, uh, let's go back to the camera and just see what they've done with the camera app here. Yeah, full eight pixel, you can eight megapixel. You can shoot wide, six and a half or two point four or zero point four in uh, wide mode, 16.9, or you can go 8, 3.2, etc. Uh, you've got your ISO controls, metering, I mean it's just crazy. You gotta get this, you know, get Mike's opinion here, because he's our uh, resident imaging expert, but it just boggles my mind what these things can do these days, all these settings. So then if we go into the camcorder, oops, that's not what I meant to do. Even more controls now over the camcorder mode. So, yeah, so recording mode, I guess, you're just shooting 1080p is normal. They don't put the actual settings on there. But you can use the flash. I mean, they don't put the... Oh, no, resolution, separate resolution. Okay. You go full 1080p. And you can set your white balance. Can I actually manually adjust the white balance? 
No, I can just choose. There's not a custom white balance. Still, though, that's crazy. More and more capable all the time. Wow. All right. Well, again, you know, to me, the big news is the 4.52 inch display um, and, you know, the, uh, the speed of the processor as well. I'm just kind of, I'm meandering about here in this uh, unboxing, I know, but I'm just kind of fascinated with this thing. Because it's been so long since I saw the first version. Um, I want to go to... Actually, I want to type the wide way. I mean, that is a huge screen for typing. The, the haptic feedback definitely feels pingy. You know, the phone feels very kind of plasticky and lightweight. And you can feel the whole thing kind of vibrate. But, you know, the pinch to zoom, very responsive. Tap and hold two points and tilt device back and forth to reduce or enlarge screen. Really? Whoa! Look at that! Woo! Bow chicka bow bow, bow chicka bow bow. This reminds me of the episode of Saturday Night Live where Jimmy Carter was talking somebody through a uh, a bad drug trip on uh, Nightline, but that's another story. Uh, I'll tell you what, very very impressive first look out of the box. Samsung not messing around with the Galaxy S2 lines. Too bad it took it so long to get to the U.S., but at least it's finally here. The first Galaxy S2. Did I say 2S? The first Galaxy S2 phone. The ship on a U.S. carrier is from Sprint. It's the Epic 4G Touch. $199.99 on contract, direct from Sprint, September 16th, but already up for pre-order. Cheaper than that. Hunt around and you will find a deal, I'm sure. But uh, I am looking forward to putting this one through its paces over the coming days and weeks and reporting back to you via our website, technobuffalo.com. In the meantime, if you pick one of these up, definitely... Go to the site, let us know what you think. Till next time, my name's Noah. Thanks for watching. Thanks to the folks at Sprint for lending us this one. We'll see you next time.